Hey what's going on guys my name is Ben how are you guys doing today? What I have for you today in this video is I want to talk to you guys about an issue that is occurring with the Mac Pro uh, with the touch bar right now. Apparently people are experiencing keyboard issues where uh, their keys are not being responsive, where the keys are sticking, where the keys are having mechanical problems. I mean uh, the, the keyboards on these things are having issues and um you know this might be a manufacturing issue during the process when apple uh, was trying to ship these out you know so i'm thinking there might have been some errors that they might have missed but you know what could have happened well you know maybe the keyboard connectors were faulty and then you know started causing this maybe they got you know, misaligned somehow you know during transport you know, maybe the cables were accidentally moved who knows but i mean these are like little uh, issues that I'm pretty sure Apple can uh, resolve. So, I mean, if you guys are experiencing these these issues, I mean, definitely take it back to the Apple Store. Let them see what they can do about it. Uh, and, um, you know, this is like a little FYI, which the links uh, to an article that I read about this will be in the description below. And, you know, people have complained about it because Apple, uh, you know, has stated that this keyboard is supposed to be very comfortable and very responsive to use. And then, of course, you know, we started seeing these issues happening. Now, I'm not 100% sure how long this has been going on. It seemed like it was pretty recent because, you know, I haven't heard any issues about this from the Macro Pro with the touch bar uh, up until now. So, you know, I'm just curious to see that, uh, okay, you know, you know how Apple is going to look into resolving this. I mean, the only thing I can think of is that they're probably going to do like some sort of hardware fix. Now, I mean... Because just from the sound of it, it seemed like, okay, you know, these are just either faulty keyboards or maybe the key, uh, the cables for the keyboard connectors uh, are faulty as well. So, I mean, one or the other just has to be replaced. Uh, but but other than that, I mean, uh, well, whatever issues that you guys are having with your products, you know, for any electronic device. Uh, and if, if you guys just started experiencing these recently you know definitely take it back to the store where you bought it from and then you know let them see what they can do for you you know uh, and i mean for the products that have a long-term service i would i would call it you know and you know you are able to obtain support locally definitely take it back as well just to see if uh, you can get it resolved by someone like, for instance, you know, Apple, you know, what's nice about their services is that, okay, you know, uh, pretty much for most products out there, no matter how you know, long you've had your product, like, I would say maybe a few years the most, then, you know, you can definitely take it back to the Apple Store and then, you know, have them you know, service it for you. Unless if the device was very old and they can't do anything about it, then, you know, there's nothing you can do about that. But, I mean, uh, you know, this is a sign that, okay, you know, not every manufacturer is perfect out there therefore I mean all these products that are coming out you know some may be faulty some may be very good and you're definitely gonna notice that when you start using a product it happened to me before and then you know I brought it back to my store and then you know we were able to exchange it and then you know I got a good working one and so I mean Apple's the same way Samsung's the same way Motorola HTC you know every manufacturer is the same out there and if it's a, a big issue for instance like the Note 7 then the company will do something about it and if they're not able to do it they will discontinue it so i mean samsung has done that with the note 7 and you know apple has had a few issues right there but not that many i mean you know manufacturers in general are not perfect um manufacturers out there i mean products come out faulty so, I mean, you know, point being is like, if you guys ever experience something you know, with your electronic device that you feel like it's kind of odd, and if you're able to take it to somebody you know, who can take a look at it for you and then maybe try to resolve it, I mean, definitely can. You, you know, whoever you trust out there, because you want to make sure that you're using these devices and that they're, you know, 100% working for you. And what's nice about Apple is that they have this nice service. And, you know, you're especially going to have a lot of questions about their products because they may have done something that could be a drastic change and then you're wondering okay you know how do I do this how do I do that I mean look at the new MacBook Pro they cut down a lot of ports they cut down the SD card slot and then you know you're just curious as to okay you know how are you gonna be able to use all this stuff they'll be able to uh, point you to the accessories that they have so that you can use all this stuff over again so I mean really just 
yeah, take very good care of your products and uh, you know any issues that you have uh, I mean definitely take it uh, back if you can uh, to see if it's resolved uh, and instead of just sitting there and be like oh this thing's useless you know who cares I mean you know at least first try to resolve the problem before you come to that conclusion and you know if you're not happy with the thing you can return it or you just don't have to buy it uh, I mean not every manufacturer is perfect out there so, I mean, uh, my question to you guys is, uh, you know, how is Apple going to look into uh, resolving these issues if these are brought back to the store? What do you guys think? Do you think Apple will have to do some hardware swaps? Do you think Apple is going to have to uh, uh, replace the whole uh, computer, which I doubt uh, that's uh, their solution to some of these issues? And, you know, do you guys feel like there's a way for these manufacturers to limit the amount of faulty messes that are coming out during the manufacturing process. Me personally, I don't think there is, but you never know. There could be a possibility, and anything helps. You know, anything will work. But then again, you know, it's not guaranteed to be 100% no faulty products at all. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, comment. Also, check out the description below for my social media links, Twitter, and Instagram. And you know, get help with whatever electronic device you have that you feel like is a very big issue and you know just see if you can get it resolved out there because I mean a technology is pretty much going to be the future guys so it's like you know you use it the way you want to use it and if it's not working out for you get it resolved you know instead of just letting it pass and then you know complaining about it you know definitely take it back have it resolved and you know, is this going to hurt Apple's sales? I mean, it shouldn't hurt a lot because, uh, I mean, the, these kinds of issues don't seem to be that drastic. It is not happening repeatedly, but you never know. It's a possibility. All right. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everybody.